The term foundation model or FM was coined by Stanford researchers to introduce a new category of ML models. They defined FMs as models that undergo training on extensive data and can adapt to various downstream tasks. Foundation models are called foundation because they serve as the base on which applications can be built, catering to a wide range of domains and use cases. The Stanford team stressed that FMs, while powerful, have a focused role within AI. They are not the basis for achieving AGI. AGI or Artificial General Intelligence is the holy grail of AI research. It refers to machines that can learn and think like humans, tackling new problems and adapting to any situation, not just specific tasks. AGI, however, still remains a distant goal. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating journey of foundation models, their evolution, key characteristics, and the diverse landscape they occupy. We'll delve into how they have revolutionized the AI landscape and uncover their potential future directions. We'll also examine the delicate balance between the remarkable benefits they offer and the potential risks they entail, providing a comprehensive overview of their role in shaping the future of AI. So let's get started. Traditional AI models relied on vast amounts of carefully labeled and structured data to train. A significant portion of an AI project's time went towards collecting, cleaning, organizing, and labeling the data. These models were often highly specialized. A model trained for image classification wouldn't understand natural language. This meant a new data set and model architecture were needed for any slightly different task. The data curation process required significant human labor often involving experts to correctly label data and ensure quality. Foundation models have changed the landscape in several key ways. Foundation models or FMs are trained on enormous unlabeled datasets of text, code, images, etc. Instead of learning just one task, they develop a general understanding of language patterns, logical structures, and the relationship between concepts. So instead of building models from scratch, FMs can be fine-tuned for specific tasks using much smaller targeted datasets. This significantly reduces the need for extensive data labeling. Using pre-trained models and fine-tuning often requires less specialized AI expertise. Developers with less machine learning background can leverage FMs, making AI more accessible. Now, while foundation models reduce labor for many tasks, they don't eliminate the need for data work entirely. FMs inherit the biases present in their massive training datasets, so careful data analysis and fairness considerations are still vital. Fine-tuning FMs effectively still require some machine learning understanding. And finally, FM excels in many areas, but they might not be the optimal solution for every AI problem. Specialized models can be more suitable for certain use cases. Regardless, foundation models represent a significant step toward making AI more powerful and accessible. By reducing the reliance on perfectly curated data and extensive model building, they lower the barrier to entry for various AI tasks. New AI programs can do amazing things like writing stories, making pretty pictures, write computer code, and even compose songs, thanks to foundation models. Think of these like giant AI brains filled with tons of information from the internet. They have learned all sorts of stuff from text, picture, videos, and more. Foundation models are like AI Swiss army knives. Instead of just being good at one thing, they can do lots of different things. And finally, foundation models are a broader category of AI models, which include not just large language models, but also other types of models, such as computer vision and reinforcement learning models. So here are some key characteristics of foundation models. Foundation models are trained on enormous data, often text, images, or code. And this pre-training gives them a broad base of knowledge. Unlike traditional AI models that were highly specialized, Foundation models can be fine-tuned for different tasks. You can steer them with prompts or a few examples rather than retain them fully. Foundation models often have billions or even trillions of parameters making them incredibly complex. And this scale allows them to capture subtle patterns and relationships. And finally, self-supervised learning means finding patterns in unlabeled data. For example, language model might be trained to predict the next word in a sentence learning language structure without needing someone to label every single word. Now, large language models are trained on vast amounts of text data. They are built to understand, interpret, and generate human-like text. Large language models or LLMs are foundation models trained on large amounts of text data, consisting of billions of parameters. 
So given a prompt, a natural language description of a task, LLMs can generate text and perform text-based tasks. Autocomplete in search or Smart Compose in Gmail are examples of applications of language models. Language models can predict the most likely word or set of words that are likely based on the text that you entered. Imagine you have a versatile toolbox filled with all sorts of tools, hammers, screwdrivers, wrenches and more. This toolbox represents the foundation model. Its general purpose able to handle a wide variety of tasks, but it might not excel at one thing. Now, let's say you want to build a birdhouse. You could certainly use the tools from your toolbox, but it would be much more efficient to have a specialized woodworking kit with tools like saws, drills and sanders designed specifically for crafting birdhouses. This specialized woodworking kit is like large language model. The foundation model, the versatile toolbox provides the basic building blocks while the LLM is the specialized woodworking kit, offers a more focused set of tools tailored to a specific task, in this case, generating or understanding language. So, if you are working on a broad range of projects, the foundation model might suffice. But if you are tackling a specialized task like writing poetry or summarizing legal documents, you would want the precision and efficiency that an LLM provides. In essence, while the foundation model serves as a general purpose starting point, LLM offers a more refined and specialized approach for tasks that require deeper understanding and nuance in language processing. Recent advances in LLM and other FMs show the power of this shift. LLMs demonstrate incredible language generation, translation and understanding abilities due to their massive pre-training. They can be adapted to tasks like writing different creative text formats, summarizing documents and more with minimal additional data. Models like Imagine and DALI 2 generate realistic or stylized images from simple text description. This is achieved through their pre-training on large text image datasets. Now, there is a barrier to entry for LLMs. It takes skills with massive data and compute resources to train, fine-tune and provide inference from LLMs. That's why few LLMs are available such as BART and GPT-3 and closed source LLMs are a black box. Now, foundation models in AI can become incredibly large. While impressive, this doesn't mean they are always the best solution. We are seeing a shift towards a more nuanced approach. So instead of defaulting to the largest model available, the focus is on selecting the model that aligns best with the specific problem. Interestingly, smaller models trained on domain-specific data can outperform much larger general-purpose models. This is like the value of consulting a specialist versus a generalist, because expertise always wins. For example, in Stanford's biomedical breakthrough, Stanford researchers demonstrated this principle. Their 2.7 billion parameter model, trained exclusively on biomedical literature, outperformed 100 billion parameter models on biomedical tasks. The benefits of specialization is that smaller specialized models are often efficient and cost effective to run. You will see a growing divide in the AI industry where vendors advocating for massive monolithic models and then there are those favoring a flexible toolkit where the most appropriate model is selected based on their task. The key takeaway is in AI, the biggest model isn't always the best model. The future lies in intelligently choosing the right tool for the job. So if you head over to Hugging Face, you'll find literally thousands of foundation models available for download. And that's just the open source ones. So this does beg the question, why are there so many foundation models? And it's mainly because of two reasons, diverse specializations and accessibility and demarketizations of AI. There are foundation models that excel at different data types, text, image, code, even combinations. This allow for specializations that wouldn't be possible in smaller models. Industries like medicines and finance now have tailored foundation models, improving accuracy in their domains. These specialized models are built upon general ones with domain-specific fine-tuning. In fact, researchers are constantly pushing boundaries. A new type of foundation model might focus on a new architecture or fresh way of understanding language, leading to a wave of related models. Foundation models give developers a head start. Instead of daunting task of building huge models from the ground up, they focus on customizing and fine-tuning. So many foundation models are open source encouraging collaboration, adaptation, and further innovation. So even smaller companies and individuals can leverage the power of large-scale AI by using off-the-shelf foundation models. Now, while the awareness of foundation model is great, it does bring some challenges. Navigating the landscape and choosing the most suitable model can be complex. So the size and power of foundation models demand careful consideration of potential biases and ethical use. While fine-tuning a model may be accessible, the initial training of these large models is still computationally expensive. 
the field of foundation models is still young and rapidly evolving. So we can likely expect even greater specializations and tailored models for specific tasks and niches. Since foundation models are getting larger with even denser parameter counts, this leads to increased capabilities but also higher computational cost. Many recent foundation models combine different types of data like text, images, and code, and this allows them to generate outputs combining these modalities. Example, generating an image from a text description. As foundation models become more powerful, there is increased focus on mitigating potential harms like bias and misinformation. So foundation models bear a serious risk because they are trained on data from the internet. They can exhibit bias and stereotypes that are harmful to marginalized groups. They can be used for malicious actors to create disinformation. How these models are built and deployed is determined by a few people and with limited transparency. And because they could cost tens or even hundreds of millions of dollars to train, only the biggest tech companies can afford them, which continues to centralize power. Amazon Bedrock is a fully managed service that makes FMs from leading AI startups and Amazon available via an API. So you can choose from a wide range of FMs to find the model that is best suited for your use case. With Bedrock serverless experience, you can get started quickly, privately customize FMs with your own data, and easily integrate and deploy them to your applications using AWS tools without having to manage any infrastructure. But more on Amazon Bedrock in my future videos. Stay tuned.